Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lyric. Today I would like to do a tarot love reading for the sun sign of Scorpio. We'll take a look at the energies from the masculine, the feminine, and we'll also take a look at the connection. Let's get started. Oh, not good. Okay. So what I'm getting already is battling. Like there is some serious um, push and pull here in this connection. Um, a lot of struggling from the masculine and the feminine. Um, I don't know if it's about the relationship or about the connection rather. Or if it's internally, if it's externally. But there's a lot of struggle here. A lot of heartache. A lot of difficult times here for Scorpio. Um, for the masculine, I have the Three of Swords, the Emperor card, and the Three of Pentacles. So, um, let me look at something really quick before I, um, I move forward. Um... So I'm getting that the masculine in the past was um, struggling a lot um, with his sort of like his ego and his male complex is what I heard. Um, I guess maybe not feeling masculine enough. We're not feeling like a good enough man. And that sort of um, gave, gave him this feeling of um, not good enough and defeat and he kind of um, was torturing himself in his own mind here with this Three of Swords. Um, I feel that um, he's overcoming that at this time with the Emperor card. He's um, exercising his authority. He's kind of reestablishing his foundation. I feel that there was a tower moment in the past. And um, this caused him to awaken to his um, divine masculinity. Um He's sitting in this emperor um, energy at this time and this three of pentacles energy. So he's really just kind of figuring things out about himself, about this connection. Let's get some um, clarifying. Let's get some more on this masculine. So tell me more about this masculine. Because I'm not sure if these guys are in separation. I'm not aware of that at this time. Um, tell me more about the masculine. Let's stick to him. Okay. Three of Pentacles and the Emperor. So this is going to be, okay. So the Queen of Cups. No, it's not just the sex that keeps me coming back. So, um, there definitely was a lot of in and out energy here. And um, the Divine Feminine could have expressed, like, hey, am I just a booty call? Like, what's going on with us? Like, I need some, I need some, something stable. I need you to tell me what's going on. Um, I want that commitment. I want that verbalized, um, you know, um, I love you, or we're going to do this together, or um, let's make this happen. And, um, but he was struggling with his masculine energies, and so he wasn't able to provide that um, to her. However, um, he probably wanted to and knows that that's coming and wants to step up for that. Uh, I also have the strength card. I'll fight for our love to clarify the three of pentacles. And I also have the hanged man. Your love makes me and see this world differently. So I really feel that this divine masculine has um, learned a lot in this connection. And he knows that this divine feminine is his divine, um, is, is the person that he wants to be with. I don't feel that they're in separation at this time. There was just a lot of internal um, doubt that was kind of causing conflict in this relationship or this connection. So for the Divine Feminine, I have the Ten of Wands, the Two of Swords, and the Three of Cups. So this um, Divine Feminine felt burdened by her Divine Masculine. Like, she felt like, what is he doing? He's just dragging me around town. Like, I'm just a shag buddy. Like, nothing's happening. 
Like, I feel this intense connection towards him, and why is he treating me this way? And um, I feel that she had a conversation with him with this Two of Swords, and she was like, look, bud, it's me or it's not me. So what are we doing? And uh, that kind of, that conversation sort of um, caused the Divine Masculine to have a tower moment to sort of start sorting out his um, masculine energies a little bit better. Because um, he just was a little bit all over the place, not really sure of things. Um, but as time went on, he realized that um, he wants this connection. He wants to be um, in this connection with her. So, um, this Divine Feminine is, um, I'm going to pull some cards because I'm not sure about this card here. This Three of Cups. So, tell me about this Three of Cups. For this. Okay. And the Empress card. So, we have counterparts on the table with the Emperor and the Empress. I'm in progress of becoming the best version of loving myself. So the Divine uh, Masculine, in fact, was reflecting to the Divine Feminine her sort of imbalanced uh, feminine energies, that she wasn't um, embodying her um, feminine strength as well, that her um, energies were out of whack as well. So that was causing her to be more reactive, to be demanding, to, um, to, to sort of like bite at that idea, like, I need this relationship, I need this relationship, and instead of pulling that energy to herself and loving herself and fulfilling herself and connecting to herself on a deeper level. She was seeking that deeper intimacy with her from her partner, which is fine, but when you don't have deeper intimacy with yourself, your partner is never going to give that to you. And that partner can't give that to you. So it's it's kind of um, paramount that you recognize um, codependency versus healthy, um, you know, healthy things, embodiments in the relationship versus like I, I'm, I'm seeking this out in another person. I don't know how to say it the right way. So I hope that makes sense. So she was um, sort of organizing her. Uh, she wasn't necessarily, this is Source doing this for her, but there was an awareness in, to her that she was a little bit out of balance as well. Um, yeah, and so her and, uh, and the Divine Masculine were able to show a sense of sort of compassion towards one another because they didn't blame each other um, directly for the failings of the, of the comings and goings of the relationship. They both realized that they weren't um, bringing it to the table, let's say. For the Divine Feminine, I also have the star card. I'm stepping into my purpose. I'm stepping into my soul. So she's doing some healing, some realization. She recognizes that she's the star of her own show and that her masculine, though she may love him, can't fulfill her um, in his entirety. She, that's on her to do that. When she met this Divine Masculine, this Divine Masculine was only meant to make her life better, not make her life. That's something that she had to do on her own. And um, yeah, and she's working through that at this time. So let's take a look at the connection. For the connection, I have the Four of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Page of Cups. So there was... Um, a little bit of aloofness and boredom seemingly coming from the divine masculine. He had a little bit of that in and out energy here and wasn't sure of what he wanted. And the divine feminine was being a little bit over needy, a little bit over um, criticizing and demanding to her divine masculine. And, and that was because of um, the, the imbalances energetically with the masculine and the feminine. So um, the, the connection at this time is sitting with the King of Wands and the Page of Cups. Definitely a love offer um, on the table. Um, pa passion, committed, um, uh, st uh, strong is what I'm getting. I feel that in the past that they were, um, it was an unstable um, connection. But I feel at this time they're moving into um, higher energetic frequencies that are more stable and, and connected. So let's um, get some more for the connection. Okay, tell me more. 
the four of pentacles the chariot so um i also feel that there was a little bit of holding on to um to what like a little bit of selfishness in this connection a little bit of holding on to um well this is what i want and then and the other person, well, this is what I want, and not really meeting um, in the middle. But I feel that um, they're moving away from that. Um, the tower moment for the masculine has been helpful. Um, Source has kind of um, stepped in for the feminine and um, with this new perspective, with this new healing, with this new elimination here, with the star card. And it's kind of giving an allowance and grace to show that, like, hey, you know, this isn't going to work if you guys want to bully each other basically you've got to there's got to be a healthy give and take here um i also see that with the chariot card and the seven of pentacles so this relationship is going to this connection is going to take a lot of work but it's definitely uh moving forward it's definitely uh moving towards something more stable and um yeah so that's good news good news for uh, scorpio so let me grab some final thought cards You make me want to be a better person for the connection. Yeah, and I feel that um, that was kind of a, a realization for both. Okay, um, please be patient. I need to work on myself for the Divine Feminine. I hurt you because it was easier than to tell you the truth, the Divine Masculine. The truth that um, and the past, he wasn't sure of his feelings. He wasn't sure of um, where the connection was going. Wasn't even sure of his own masculine strength. And to confide um, to another person that, or and he might not have even been aware of this. This could have been subconscious. But um, he wasn't willing to be vulnerable with her at this time. And he didn't want to... I don't know if he even would have been able to verbalize that to her, but uh, basically that's what's going on. A lot of um, being vulnerable, being real honest. Um, he didn't have the capacity to do that at the time. I find you so incredibly attractive and sexy. It's intense. So I'll leave this reading here where it's at. I hope that you loved it. Um, if you would like um, your own personal reading, uh, if you have a situation going on that you want to know what's happening, um, uh, check out my description box and book me for a personal reading, okay? Take care.